Hello. Uh, today I am going to, in anticipation of releasing Melon Drop, I'm going to update my phone to the uh, beta. iOS 7 was released. Uh, that was released today. So I'm going to try to do this now. Um, I've backed up my device. I've downloaded the iOS 7 um, for my 4S that I have here. And I'm going to follow the procedure in updating it and see and hope it goes smoothly. Now, we're developing games now, and we hope to develop, uh, or we're about to wrap development on a game uh, called Melon Drop. And it has this character in it. It's going to be a lot of fun. Hopefully, we can get this thing released uh, in the next month or so. I like to see if it runs on iOS 7. It's pretty standard stuff, and as well as the rest of the customers that we have, um, I'd like to see their stuff running on it as well. Now, my test bed is uh, comprised of about 9 to 10 devices, and I have two 4Ss, so it's not such a big deal that I upload this. This is my primary phone, though, which um, I, like anyone else, would like to really know what's going on with it when I do it. So here goes. I'm going to click. I don't really need to show you what's going on on the screen. I can just talk you through it. Um, I clicked on the iPhone and iTunes that um, summary page and I hit on the PC. I guess on the Mac it's option, but on the PC I have to hit Alt Shift Restore Phone and then I need to navigate to the desktop where I stored the IPSW file that has um, my devices um, software update. So I'm going to use that to do it. And it says uh, iTunes will erase and restore your phone to iOS 7.0 and they'll verify the restore with Apple. And that sounds good to me. So it's doing it. Um, first it's extracting. And I'm not going to uh, speed up the video here. I'm going to let you see in real time how long this takes. So, I mean, you can scrub the video all you want on YouTube and um, we'll see just what happens. So, I'll set this thing aside for a minute so I can see just what's going on. I kind of wish I would have used my dock. That would have been a good idea. I got these docks off China. I got these docks from China, off eBay rather. And uh, <laughs> they kind of were for the older devices and that was great and all. Um, but now my newer devices, they're really kind of useless. Um, it says right here for iPhone 3G, um, 3GS. So I did back up my phone. So once it gets flashed to 7, I will then hopefully restore and get all my contacts and all that stuff back. Not such a big deal, like I said, because I can just grab my other 4S and use that phone as my primary phone. Um, it's only a 16 gig, whereas this one is a 32. Um, so it, they did say that you can't flash back to iOS 613 after you flash forward. So um, this could be kind of a drag if all goes awry here. Um, I really kind of use and need this device for testing. So it'll be good to see if it works. So maybe uh, take this time to talk a little bit about the game we have coming out. It's called Melon Drop. It has a lot of these guys in it. It has a lot of um, things that these interact with in real time. So there's like a, a really great physics engine behind it. Um, we've used quite a few different uh, tools to get where we are now. We're really not releasing now due to the fact that we've got some pretty major contracts and we need to make good on those before we move forward with these um, personal endeavors. So I think given the time frame that we have now, I think we need a, probably a good three weeks to polish it up. Um, we use a great bug base to log all everything that's wrong with the game currently. I might bring it up now, which would be pretty cool. It'd be pretty epic if I did. Um, I just don't want to 
give away everything because I haven't really shown this at all to anybody yet. Um, let's see if I can get it going here. Alright, so Melon Drop is the name. It's pretty cool. Got some pretty cool graphics going on here. I don't know if you can actually see this or if this is in focus at all. But you can see they have different stages and stuff. It's looking pretty cool. And we have a lot of great cameos and an excellent editor. So um, it is real. We are not uh, doing um, vaporware here. It's on version 2.24. And some major gameplay mechanics have changed. Um, I can't really show you um, what we're doing as far as gameplay mechanics at this time. Um, because we do have investors and I can only screw things up by talking about it right now. So I'm trying, let me just check really quick to see if you can see this progress bar has changed a little bit. Let's see if I can bring that up to focus. So that's kind of cool. So I'm hoping that this video comes out really clear. I'd really like it to be the one that everyone gets to see. A really great flawless install of uh, iOS 7 would be really pretty neat. Progress is moving along rather slow. I'm just going to set this down for a minute. Like I said, I don't want to speed up the video. You'll, you'll be able to see in real time just how long it's taking. Get that shot back down there. So it's looking pretty good. Awesome. So we have quite a bit to do here. As you can see, it's 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 moving right along, which is nice. I'm pretty excited. I watched the keynote today. I do talk a lot about video games on this channel. Um, I did watch the keynote in its entirety, and I was pretty excited about what they're doing. Um, mostly the camera sounded pretty cool. Obviously, the entire interface overhaul, which seemed pretty cool. They were kind of railing the, uh, I, I forgot the name of the guy, but there's a gentleman who worked at Apple who's not there anymore. I guess he was, um, from what I've read, he was really, uh, you know, a good guy, and he was really supported by um, Jobs. Well, maybe they fought. Nonetheless, um he was the one responsible for all the stitching and leather and felt and all the different kinds of real world materials portrayed in graphics that um, he's been ousted or he left or something like that. So they kind of really, you know, twisted the dagger a little bit today because if that guy left under a negative pretense, um, you know, let it go. It's over. He's gone, you know. So... But they seem to kind of rail the poor guy. All right, this thing's just speeding up right now. So I'm going to hold this close to the camera so we can see just what's going on here. See how long it actually takes. Hopefully I'm holding this thing steady enough. And you can see just what happens here. Getting very close to the end. Sorry, uh... I didn't get a manicure done for this. I am not a hand model. Don't claim to be. So. Yeah. White glove might have been good today. Alright, so my computer just gave me a disconnecting sound disconnecting USB sound. Let's see if I can get this pointed down towards the table so that I can get a good read on what's happening here. It's in focus. Try to get a nice in focus picture of what's happening here. And it looks like it's doing it again. So this is why. You know, this is what you're going to come to expect. Maybe um, a so that we can figure out. Let me see if I can get a good shadow on here. Make that look a little better. Could have, uh, I guess I could have cleaned the screen a little bit. That would have been nice. Big white screen now. So 
right so far. So I'm moving along here. Now I'm at nine minutes since I started. Okay, so we get a little hello. And then it went dark. So configure. I'm going to go with English. Country of origin, United States. But this is really light. Let me see if I can uh, get the shutter speed up a little bit here. Let's see just what's going on here. And that's my network. Choose a Wi-Fi network. Oop, cancel that out. Okay, next. Use Wi-Fi. That's the one I want. All right, so I did get connected there. Very light. It's pretty cool so far. Location services. See if I can get a little bit closer here. Just see what's going on. Let's bring it back just a little bit so we can get focus. So it's as good as it's going to get. With this particular camera, I'm actually using the Nikon. D7000 for this video. That's some decent lighting. Okay. So lo enable location services. I'm fine with that. Restore from an iTunes backup. That's what I want to do. So that's kind of what is a good thing, I guess. So I'm going to restore from the Greg's iPhone backup. This is what you're going to see. Now I get a bunch of stuff here. Seeing a little bit of the desktop. A little bit of stuff. Now on the computer now, we have iTunes, which is restoring. Yeah, I'm rocking a Sony Vial this time. Actually was decent, decent computer. Maybe as far as PCs are concerned. Yes, I hope I'm restoring. It says seven minutes to full restore. Be kind of cool. I think I can get around and tool around with some of this stuff now. Let's see if I can get a little bit closer in here. Oh, tricky. Get a little bit brighter. Okay, so now I'm going to just raise it up so it's a little bit more different. And get a focal point. Okay, so you can see here I have something going on. Some photos, which I'm not going to have any on. It's in the middle of restoring. At least that's what the computer says. So I'm wondering if I should just let this thing fly until it's done restoring. My personal information. Let's go like that. Alright, so this is reading five minutes now. So I think it, it redid another video. So I think I'm going to stop it here. I think uh, the restore process is complete for the most part. I'm touching things and nothing is happening. I'm pretty sure it's because um, it's restoring. The phone. There's your new dialer. I'm going to turn around. It looks like I don't think I can.
And then, so I'm like kind of messing around here trying to figure out what's going on. I can't, used to be able to kind of double tap this home button and stuff would happen. Now nothing is responding. So I just might not know what's going on, which I bet is the problem. I think it was a swipe, did I see? Double swipe, triple swipe. I'm gonna let this finish uh, updating. I uh, apparently have no idea what's going on here. So, I'm trying to figure this out. Interesting. No contacts, recent favorites. Three minutes left on this record now the on the Nikon uh, DSLR they have a, a certain amount of time before the CCD gets too hot they can't record anymore it's not made to be a video camera it just makes pretty nice videos so I'm trying to uh, just figure it out that's pretty good to uh, keep me in focus don't know why my phone would is responding to the season volume stuff. They've totally changed everything. Be super cool if I didn't just uh Alright, well this thing tells me my restore is going to take 24 minutes, so I'm going to just shut it off now. Start uploading this to YouTube and let people have a look and see what they can expect. Yeah, my update's huge. i got so many pictures and videos and all kinds of stuff on my backup that's going to take a really long time. Um, I'll comment on how it went and uh, let you all know. But thanks for watching, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. I've got an awesome game coming out. We're actually giving away this guy, so uh, you're going to want to check it out. And I will... Uh, See you then. Thank you.